Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will be learning about norepinephrine synthesis, its storage, release, and its binding to different receptors present in the synaptic cleft. So if this is the exon part of the neuron, and this is the nerve terminal. So in adrenergic neuron, what actually happen is that here we have a sympoter which transport sodium ions along with tyrosine into the neuron cytoplasm. Tyrosine is basically an amino acid which is present in outside of this neuron and is transported through this sympoter along with sodium. So sympoter is a co-transporter which uh, which transport two molecules in the same direction when tyrosine comes inside the cell or inside the neuron what happens is that this tyrosine is converted into dopa and dopa is what stands for dihydroxy phenyl alanine this is what dopa is so tyrosine is converted into dopa by the action of an enzyme called as tyrosine hydroxylase so this enzyme convert the tyrosine into dopa which is dihydroxyphenylalanine so after the formation of dopa in, in the cytoplasm of the cell what happens is that this dopa is then converted into dopamine and this is also done by the action of an enzyme called as I am writing it here the enzyme that is acting is inside the cytoplasm but because I have uh, no place here so I am writing it here aromatic L amino acid decarboxylase so this enzyme act over here and cause the formation of dopamine from dopa this all is happening in the presynaptic neuron so after that we have synaptic vesicle present in the cytoplasm of the presynaptic neuron so what happens is this vesicle has a transporter called as VMAT and VMAT stands for vesicular monoamine transporter so let me write it here for you vesicular monoamine transporter so its short form is VMAT so what happens is this VMAT is a antipoter and what this antipoter do is it cause the efflux of protons and influx of dopamine present in the cytoplasm of this neuron what VMAT do is that it cause the exchange of two molecules or two things which are protons and dopamine so after the exchange of these two we have dopamine inside the vesicle and dopamine is then converted into norepinephrine by an action of enzyme present inside the vesicle which is i'm writing it here again because i have less space so if it is our vesicle we have dopamine in it so dopamine will convert into norepinephrine by an action of enzyme called as dopamine beta hydroxylase so this enzyme is present inside the vesicle not in the cytoplasm therefore after being packed in the vesicle dopamine is then converted into norepinephrine through the action of this enzyme called as dopamine beta hydroxylase 
सो नाउ वी हैव नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन इन साइड द वेजिकल सो नाउ वट हैपन वेन एक्शन पोटेंशियल अराइव देयर इज एन इनफ्लक्स ऑफ कैल्शियम आइंस इन टू द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द न्यूरोन थ्रू द कैल्शियम चैनल सो आफ्टर द इनफ्लक्स ऑफ कैल्शियम आइन वट हैपन इज दैट दीज वेजिकल्स विच आर प्रीवियसली फॉर्म एंड हैव नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन इन दैम एज प्राइमरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर दीज वेजिकल डिफ्यूज इन टू द मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द न्यूरोन एंड दस कॉज द रिलीज ऑफ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स सो प्राइमरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर हेयर इज नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन वाइल अदर सब्सटांसिस लाइक ए टी पी पेप्टाइड्स एंड डोपामेन बीटा हाइड्रोक्सीज विच इज़ द इंजाइम दैट कॉजेज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन साइनेप्टिक लेफ्ट आफ्टर द फ्यूजन ऑफ साइनेप्टिक वेजिकल इन टू द प्री साइनेप्टिक मेम्ब्रेन सो आफ्टर द रिलीज ऑफ नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन इन द साइनेप्टिक स्पेस वी कैन हैव थ्री डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज If this is the postsynaptic membrane, we have adenoceptors on the postsynaptic membrane on which, when norepinephrine bind and cause the intracellular response. So this can be the first possibility for the norepinephrine present in the synaptic cleft. What can be the second one? we can have a transporter called as net which is nor epinephrine transporter what this transporter do is that it takes back the nor epinephrine present the synaptic cleft into the cytoplasm of presynaptic neuron so in this way uh, less of the uh, nor epinephrine is present in the synaptic lab for the cellular response and what could be the third possibility it can have auto receptor on presynaptic membrane of the neuron which can cause the shutdown of further release of norepinephrine vesicles it is like shutdown button for the uh, norepinephrine release when this uh, shutdown button is being turned on what actually happen is that no further uh, vesicle diffuse to the presynaptic membrane and therefore no further release of norepinephrine occurs so in this way these three possibility can occur so we have different drugs acting on these enzymes or transporters so for tyrosine hydroxylase we have a drug which inhibit the action of this enzyme and it is called as metyrosine we also have a drug for vmat which which inhibits a transporting action and this drug is reserpine and on the net are cocaine tricyclic antidepressant so what happens is that when the, there will be inhibition of this transporter there will be more of uh, nor epinephrine present in the synaptic cleft and there will be more intracellular response of nor epinephrine there and uh, that's how the tricyclic antidepressant or cocaine act in this synaptic cleft we also have an enzyme called as comt which stand for catechol o methyl transferase so what this enzyme do is that it convert release nor epinephrine into inactive metabolites and then it is excreted out of the body through urine we also have excessive amount of mitochondria in neurons which release an enzyme called as monoamine oxidase 
what these enzyme do is that these enzyme oxidize the um, norepinephrine present in the cytoplasm of the neuron which is being uptaken by transporter so these enzyme mao are also involved in forming inactive metabolites in the cytoplasm of the neuron let me know if you have any question related to the topic in the comment section below you can also suggest any topic you want to learn next